during the end of one meditation session this evening I had the sense of taste at its exhalation plus I was feeling its exhalation exiting from a different point um, still somewhere in internally and at a point located between the, the top of my mouth and the back end of my nose I focused my attention at that function to sense it better and it didn't change the sensation remained the same with me being totally aware of it as it was moving outwards exiting my body with each exhalation I had the taste was sweet leaving as well a sense of blissfulness behind prior to that sensation I, fe I felt something moving at the area of my brain a sense of expansion especially at the temples and top of my of my head the total sensation lasted for about two to three minutes when I later discussed that with a friend she pointed out that this is known as quote-unquote the meditator drinking his own nectar and later I remembered that that said is also mentioned at the, at the documentary about meditation which is with uh, Greek subs and, and I have um, transcribed into Greek I will include the link in the description and at the text in the blog and uh, today I was full on meditating it was about in total three hours at first I thought it was two hours but uh, I had I had also one hour later at the evening and uh, even though I was working yet I was able to find the, the time and devote time for meditation I am looking forward for for its meditation session and it kind of feels like when we are visiting an old and beloved place after many years the sensation is the same so the places are inter interchanging internally they are not the same for example for example I am feeling like each time I am visiting a different place with a different taste and sensation and sometimes in a different time space and I was discussing that with that friend of mine that as I continue with my meditations I'm kind of detaching from this from these or from these societies for example 
example, at, at the new location, at my job, people are kind and nice. But I can't relate because there are many times that they are talking about other people. They are talking about diseases that someone had happened to him that and uh, happened this and that. Talking about other people and talking about illnesses and then they are talking also about negative things they are talking for others behind their their back and I don't I don't like neither of, of those things neither of those things so I find myself that I am removing myself. I am walking away from such interaction because I, I feel they are polluting my higher self. And I I don't want that. I, I don't want to be a, a part of that. I don't want that to touch my aura. And I was thinking that more and more it becomes difficult to live inside these societies. And then I had an idea of, of me, how would I feel if I would become a monk? And then I thought to myself that I don't like how religions are religions are set are set up how they are created so if I wouldn't want to be a monk in a certain religion then perhaps I would become a monk in something else and when I discussed that with friends, she told, she told me that I could go to an ashram and there are ashrams located in the western cities as well and in Europe. In many ways, this was just thought I had Another thought I had was to go back in Greece, but to spend a couple of months inside a cave, most of the time meditating. Eating what is available and spending as, as less money as possible only for my food which would be fruits and vegetables and wild greens and edibles of all kinds. But this may be a far more wild idea.
but um, but either way what is very important to me it is uh, it is to be able and have lengthy and hourly meditations each day each and every day that is very important to me because I am I am reaching states that that this action of me being able to reach reach those states is leading me somewhere else somewhere in different places where I am moving in those places with energy and now I, I am sensing that in those places I am moving with my energy body slash bodies and as I am moving in those places only with my energy body I am entering a knowledge of new dimension of new dimensions it is like I have written at an another recording in the past it is like a kid in the kindergarten is learning new things I feel the same exactly like I am learning new things and it is a total wow thing to me and as clearly and as sincerely as I can speak I don't have many expectations in my meditation well of course there are some expectations expectations but mainly I am just entering the meditative stage because I need to move I need to feel myself moving energetically I sense, I deeply sense inside me that this is very important to me in a way I sense that it feeds my true capital T my true self capital S and the more I am into all these things and these environments and these realms the more I can't relate I truly can't relate anymore with all the linear activities I was cycling a couple of minutes ago I went to buy some fruits and vegetables and here in the, in the Netherlands they are wild about football and at each neighborhood there are at least two football fields where 
kids are going to play and uh, learn how to play there are I don't know how I don't know even how they are being called in English uh, those people that uh, are trained are training those kids and uh, there was all this stuff uh, yelling and um, and um, talking loudly all this uh, Ma manhood, you know, uh, we men are talking like like that, and we are yelling, and we and we like football and all that stuff. And it is not that there are not men that are not interested about football, of course, and that doesn't uh, make them any less men. Uh, any less uh, any less m men but what I wanted to say is that these societies are focused on these linear aspects of life and these are totally meaningless to me to my true self these are rubbish these are rubbish for monkeys, for God's sake. Sorry, but I can't be serious when, I, when I'm talking about these things. These are modern arenas for, be, for pe people to go out and... I don't know how it is be being called in English and in the future I think I will speak in Greek and I will translate it with subtitles in English because it is easier for me to express myself in my maternal language. So all these are rubbish. These are modern arenas for people to go there and express all what is suppressed inside them if you ask me I find this pity for us, for human beings to live in the 20, 21st century and we are still on these things like football and all these things and it's okay football it is just uh, someone could say that okay football is just a uh, sport no it is not because they are going there with flags and they are yelling and they are beating each other they are screaming and when there is a how it is called the mundial and those all those things they whole streets here are blocked by tents that these people are building to to put inside TV sets and uh, sit there and watch the games my god I don't want to be a part of these primitive societies. How can I escape from all this rubbish that is all around me all of the time, 24-7? All that is polluting my essence. All that is polluting my true self and where I aim, where I want to be. I happened to live in this body. I am not this body. And for all of us, 
of us people that we are feeling we are sensing our true self this is a torment for our soul it is a torment I'm feeling sad and now my hair all over my body uh, I'm feeling oh I am in awe right now because I am expressing myself through my true self through my higher self this is who I am I am not pretending I am not playing anything this is who I am that is why I don't have many friends and uh, the few friends that I had somehow it happened to to leave me and this city someone went to Belgium someone went here and there and okay and I don't feel lonely and I enjoy this lonesome path because it meant to be lonesome we come here alone and we will live alone and, we'll, and when we are able to live alone at least at some at some time in our lives then we are connected to our true self adding to what I just said being a able to live alone and not feeling lonely that is that I, I find it is a bless a blessing so I don't want to be to be uh, chatty and talk about many things so that was about I was mainly wanted to share that I was able to have that, that that sense I was able to send that sense that sweet that sweet what is happening to me and <laughs> I am losing my words I was able to sense that sweet taste with its exhalation I had and okay I don't want to make that an attachment by continuously saying it it was just a sensation and I just sense, sensed it I don't want to make it uh, neither an attachment nor an expectation to want to m go and meditate in order to find that again no it just happened and I enjoy meditating and perhaps the next the next session will bring bring forth something else okay that was all for now and only because I am polite I would I would like to say thanks for hearing because I don't want to create fans I am just sharing what I am experiencing thank you